Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Coffee with Katie. It's a little bit cloudy today, but the light should be better because it's daytime. <laughs> I have my Book Dragon Stoneware mug from Fable Grounds Coffee. I love this mug so much. It is so cute. And it is very appropriate for today's video because today's video is going to be a book haul because I have some books sitting here and I just think it's time. I think it's time. <laughs> oh, also I have my Morningstar Tale Taranak shirt. I love this shirt, even though it's from the Bookish Box and the Bookish Box, I think I'm kind of done with them and they've been frustrating me a lot, but this shirt is fantastic and I love it. And part of the reason I'm kind of on a time crunch today and need to get this going and wrapped up is because I'm getting my tattoo for my bookish sleeve. We got the sword and stuff and I'm going to be getting a dragon today in this general area. So very exciting. So let's just get started. The first one is A Song of Shadow and Starlight by Morgan Gaither. I bought this a while ago, I think in one of my previous hauls, but I don't know where it went. It got misplaced somewhere and it wasn't in my previous haul. So I did pick this up. This is an indie author and it sounded really interesting. It's kind of one of those things where there was a hook posted on Bookstagram from the author and I was like, that sounds great. And then I don't remember what the hook was. Oh, sorry. And one of the first pages it talks about in loving memory of her dog. Oh no. Okay, anyway, so this came out last year. <laughs> She's supposed to marry her childhood best friend and on the eve of her wedding, she unknowing, unknowingly thwarts an assassination attempt and is kidnapped by the other kingdom. She's kidnapped by the Trinovians, the sworn enemy of the Midorians, which I guess she is. And she's determined to escape them and she burns down her boat because that's a good idea and swims to wherever she can find, which ends up being the jungle kingdom of Bava. But instead of escaping, she thrusts herself and these three magic-wielding brothers that are on this journey with her, I guess that kidnapped her, into perils that she's only encountered in books. So it sounds like a fun journey. So essentially they're in this terrible situation together and maybe the only people she can trust are these enemies. So I don't know, it sounded good. I don't remember the hooks again, like I said, but I was intrigued, I got it, here it is. I almost started on a vacation, but I ended up reading, um, or rather finishing, the gentleman's gambit instead but this was on the docket if i could have gotten to it oh she's got a writing playlist i love that next is the anniversary uk paperback edition of finale they have these beautiful metallic editions and so this is the fifth anniversary for finale and it matches the caraval and the legendary editions so you know i had to get this this is like the really pretty copper one not much to say about that, you know my obsession. And then I think I've already talked about this, but I got Bride by Allie Hazelwood. Um, I really loved the, I don't know if it's a good, I guess it doesn't have a series name, but the Love Hypothesis, Love on the Brain, Love Theoretically. Love Hypothesis was my least favorite of the three. But um, because I read those, I really ended up liking her writing. I like how humorous it is. I just really enjoy Allie Hazelwood's writing, which really surprised me. So when she was doing a paranormal romance, I was like, absolutely, I must know. So I immediately bought it because I bought the other three and really liked them. So I got Bride and I'm actually listening to it right now and I really like it. So got this. It's essentially a world where there's werewolves and vampires and the, to keep the peace, to make a peace treaty, the main character Misery is a vampire and she marries the alpha of the werewolves, Lo. And things ensue from there. Next, I got the paperback edition of A Chain of Thorns by Cassandra Clare because I really like the paperback versions of the Shadowhunter books because they have these spines that like make a picture and I love that, but this thing is thick. She thick, like wh what? But anyway, I did read Chain of Gold, really enjoyed it. I think I'll like this series more than the, mm, more than the other ones, but less than the Infernal Devices. But anyway, I grabbed this because I get the paperbacks of all of them. And then I did get my Illumicrate edition in of Sunbringer by Hannah Kaner. I loved God Killer, and so I wanted to get the next special edition of this to match. It's so pretty. I don't know if I like that the colorway is more like pinky purple, but it's okay. It's all right. It's beautiful. And I'm anxious to get to this. I'm probably going to listen to it because I listened to the other one. Look how cool. <laughs> Got some foiling and it's signed. But anyway... It's a beautiful book. It's book two. God killer is about a god killer um, in a world that gods just cause a lot of mischief and harm for humans. 
and I'm very excited to continue the series. And then I bought this off uh, Pengo Books used because I am really interested in this author's vampire forced marriage series like called Tethered. And this is the same author but a different world and I was just curious because I think I'm really going to enjoy her works. And it is The Earth of Earth and Flame by Elena R. Galia. The Ithamer Chronicles book one. Ugh, I don't remember why I bought this one either, technically, but I wish these hooks would stick in my mind longer, but. So it sounds like she spent her entire life in a tower waiting for the day she's forced to marry this king's son. But on the day that this is supposed to happen, she ends up running from the king and his deadly power. And then another character, Xander, comes across with a feisty elf. He never wanted a mate, etc but I guess she might be changing things for him. He has secrets to keep, she wants to leave this land behind her, but fate has other plans for both, so. Don't remember the hook, knew I was interested. And then I got um, Defiant by Brandon Sanderson, the UK hardcover edition for my husband. This is book four in the Skyward series. I got all of these for him, and so we got this one. Also, he loves Brandon Sanderson, and so we kind of collect his works. I haven't read this, so I can't say much about it, but Skyward is, is a YA sci-fi series. Then I did an unboxing for this, but it is a the Broken Binding edition of Northern Wrath by Field Cold Holt, part one of the Hanged God trilogy. I already did an unboxing, so we don't have to linger there. And then I got my Goldsboro edition of House of Open Wounds by Adrian Tchaikovsky to go with my um, City of Last Chances. Is that here? Yeah, City of Last Chances edition. So it is. these are so pretty. I'm actually really intrigued by these. I'm kind of mad at myself that I haven't read them yet, but these editions are just so like insanely pretty. They're signed, numbered, it's fantastic. Yes. Don't remember what the first one's about, but I do know that I'm intrigued. I don't remember, I guess, what the first one's about. And then I finally got my special edition of The Demon Court, no, The Demon Crown in by Emma Hamm. This is the second book in the Seven Deadly Demon series, and she's been doing these like special editions, which are really pretty with the sprayed edges and all that. And the third one is going on sale next week, I believe. So that's exciting. But yep, I love Emma Ham. I will read any of her works, even though I've only read a couple of her books. I literally just like collect her books like candy because I love them. And I want to read everything she does and I'm excited. And then I got my Fairy Loot edition in of The Cage of Dreams by Rebecca Schaefer. This goes with My City of Nightmares. I really liked this duology a lot, and so I was happy to have a matching Fairy Loot edition. I like that there's a T-Rex and a pterodactyl on this one. The spine has some like webbing detail that's cool. The back says all nightmares began as dreams, and the sprayed edges have a little T-Rex on them. Very cute. I think the... Yeah, the naked hardcover also has a T-Rex on it. Super cool. End pages are beautiful. It's signed by the author. We love this book. Also, I've already read it. Look at me go. And then I got the fairy loot edition of The Midnight Kingdom by Tara Zim. Sim. This um, is book two in the City of Dusk series. Well, it's the Dark God series, but first one was City of Dusk. I got the fairy loot edition of the first one, so I went ahead and got the second one. Hopefully, I will get to this series at some point but I haven't gotten to it yet. But the pages are dark blue and that's really pretty. And the back says the divine will have their war and not all of them will survive it. It's book two, so I don't know. Can't tell you the plot. I think a lot of these are just special editions. <sighs> okay. The next one is the Atlas Complex by Olive e. Blake. This is the Illumicrate edition because I have the rest of the Illumicrate editions here. And they're stunning, beautiful, unparalleled. I just really like what they've done with these editions. And I really need to get to this. I thought I was going to get to it really quickly. Holographic is so pretty. But I haven't. So I need to do that so that I can finish out this series. I think this is the last one. And I need to know what happens. It's signed by the author. It's gorgeous. The Atlas Six is about the Alexandrian Society. If you haven't heard about it, I'm sure you have. The Secret Society of the Alexandrian Library. And six of them go in, but only five of them will get the job, but maybe it's more deadly than they think. I also, because I'm just slowly collecting these books, got The Fugitive Telemetry by Martha Wells. This is the next installment after Network Effect, I believe, um, of the Murderbot Diaries, and I slowly collect these secondhand because they're so small, but they're so expensive. So I got this off of Pingo Books with somebody that was selling it, so I got Fugitive Telemetry, and from the same person I also got System Collapse, which is the newest one of Martha Wells. Murderbot Diaries. I need to catch up, but I've loved these so far and happy that I have the next two. 
And then I got this. Um, part of the reason I got this was because I thought it was gonna have extra content, but we'll get to that in a second. I ended up getting the seven and a half deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle, which is the Barnes and Noble exclusive edition by Stuart Turton. Um, I love this book. I think it's amazing. It was a five star read for me, an amazing um, sci-fi thriller. Um, I really, really loved this book and I saw that they're doing a Barnes and Noble exclusive and so I wanted to have it because I it said it was gonna have extra content, but it turns out the extra content was about his new book. I thought it was gonna be extra content on this book. But still, I have all of his books in hardcover so far, and I'm getting the newest one in hardcover, so this will match, I guess, kind of. That's that. <laughs> it's about a story where a man is trying to solve a suicide, but he thinks it is a murder. But each day he wakes up in a different body of one of the guests at the party, and he has seven days to figure out this mystery, or he will lose all his memories and it will start over, and he doesn't, he wakes up with no information. Really interesting. And then I got my Fairy Loot edition of Foul Hearted Huntsman by Chloe Gong because I've been getting all of them from Fairy Loot, even though I haven't read a single book in this world. Don't judge me. And then these are some Fairy Loots that I have unboxed. If I haven't gotten them up yet, I'm sorry, but I have the Scarlet Alchemist by Kylie Lee Baker Fairy Loot edition. I also got the Fairy Loot edition of Her Radiant Curse by Elizabeth Lem, again, because I am collecting these books in this series, even though I haven't read them yet, because if I love them and I don't have the matching editions, I'm gonna be upset. I also did an unboxing for this, but this is the Broken Binding edition of The Crimson Campaign by Brian McKellen. This is the last book in the, or this is the second book in the Power, this is the second book in the Power Mage trilogy. Yep. <laughs> and then I finally got in the Bakery edition of With These Last Breasts by Vanessa Rusanen. Um, this is a pirate fantasy book that I've actually been really interested in reading, but I haven't gotten to it yet. I need to soon. Um, but it's got these really pretty gold edges. The naked hardcovers on these are so beautiful. Look at that. It's just stunning. And there's art. I don't know. I just remember this being kind of like a fantasy. Maybe it's a romance, but maybe it's just with romance. Um, I just remember being very intrigued by this like pirate fantasy series, and I really need to get to this soon. I also picked up Sanctuary of the Shadow by Aurora Asher. Um, this is, I don't know if this is a series or a standalone, but it is one of the newest acquisitions of Red Tower Books. And I was really curious about it when it came out, which is why I picked it up. And it says, come for the show, stay for the magic. This is a circus fantasy series and she kind of hides in the circus with some abilities which allows her to hide, but if she's found out, I think she'll be killed and she ends up finding another guy that has some dark secrets. I don't know, it's circus magic, fantasy book, sounded interesting, and so I have to know. And I've already talked about this book, I've already read this book, unboxed it, I think, maybe not, but What the River Knows by Isabel Advanias. This was a fairy loot edition and I've already read this. I really liked it. Here's the edition, there you go. I also got my fairy loot edition in of Two Twisted Crowns by Rachel Gillig. Already read this, already loved it, really loved the um, Shepherd King duology. I highly recommend checking it out if you haven't. I love the red foiling, muted edges. It's got a signed um, book plate and then it has this beautiful, I believe the two Adler's card um, on the hardcover, printed hardcover. Also got a reversible dust jacket. I loved this duology, treasure it. Another fairy look book that I got that I've already talked about is The City of Stardust by Georgia Summers. Um, yep, it's beautiful. The fairy loot edition I got in, which is the sequel to a book that I got in a fairy loot box last year, is This Crystal Light by Emily Fieldy. It's signed by the author, all that good stuff. And the first book was This Vicious Grace, which is right here. So I got the sequel, again, in case I love it. That's a problem, I know. Same deal with this one. I got the sequel Fairy Loot edition of The In Making of June Farrell by Adrian Young. Really pretty edges. It's the first one is Spells for Forgetting and I haven't read either of them. Hopefully I will enjoy them. If not, I can pass them along to somebody else, but it's a really cool edition. And another one that I thought I was gonna get to immediately and haven't yet is Murtag by Christopher Paolini. Um, I have mixed feelings about the Aragon series. I loved it because it was dragons but I wish there had been more dragons and I guess fighting with dragons. I don't know. I wish there had been more action, I guess, rather than training and wandering around trying to talk to trees or whatever. But I loved 
Thorn and Murtag. And so I'm excited to see what happens with his story with Thorn and himself. So I got the Broken Binding edition of this because I, I was already gonna buy a, an edition and this one is just so beautiful. The edges have Thorn on them. The naked hardcover has Thorn and it's beautiful. I love that Broken Binding does these like wraparound designs. It's stunning. It's signed by the author and numbered, which is super cool. But I do have this on audiobook and I will get to it eventually, but I love dragons and this is a dragon book. I also picked this up. Um, the Barnes and Noble sale this year was not what it was last year. It used to be 50% off all hardcovers. They didn't do that this year, but I did pick up a couple of things that I was curious about. One of them is Chasm by Stacey McEwen. Um, this is book two of the Glacian trilogy and the first one is um, Ledge and I did get that one in hardcover as well. So I grabbed this. You're following a girl who lives on a ledge and every so often somebody is chosen to be taken by these creatures. She ends up getting chosen and she thinks she's going to die, but maybe it's actually a good thing. That day I also bought this because I really like Star Wars. And even though I haven't read this series, I really do want to get into it. And this was a Barnes & Noble exclusive edition, so I wanted to grab it while I had the chance to get it on sale. And that is Star Wars The High Republic Tales of Light and Life. These are short stories in the series, I believe. So I don't know when I'll be able to get to it, but I really liked the cover. And I love Star Wars, so anytime I can collect a Star Wars book, I do. And also with that sale, I ended up getting Curious Tides by Pascal Lacile. I was curious about this. It's kind of a, I think it's about witches and things and it sounded pretty interesting. It's got these like, this like, I don't know, like poster almost in it of like, of lunar, of sacred lunar house sigils and it's really pretty and I'm just really curious about this book. So I grabbed it. This is another fairy loot unboxing. So if it's not up, it should be soon. I'm trying to catch up with those, but this is Feybound by Sarah L. Arifi. This is a very pretty edition, really like it, and curious about this. I believe this is a fae story, maybe a romance, I don't really remember. It's about elves and fae, but the fae lands haven't been seen for a really long time. I talked about it in my unboxing, but this. Also, book three in the Power Mage trilogy, The Autumn Republic by Brian McKellen. This is the Broken Binding edition, don't have to go into this, I already unboxed it. And then we're gonna get into some ridiculousness of my editions of Fourth Wing and Iron Flame because I have a problem, but they're so pretty. So I got the French edition of Fourth Wing because look at it. It's beautiful and this is just the normal edition. It's so cool. Like I don't, look at the end pages. It's got foiling. Look at the hardcover. And this is just what they have in store. Look at this. The moment I saw it, I knew I had to have it because it was so beautiful. Don't judge me. This is another edition of Fourth Wing, okay? And <laughs> I got the German edition of Iron Flame to go with my German edition of Fourth Wing because their German editions are beautiful. The edges are stunning, but the hardcover, the hardcover. Look at it. It's a dragon eye. Oh man. These books are just so beautiful. Every edition that comes out, I'm like, how could it be more beautiful? And then it is. We don't need to go into that. Everybody knows what those are about. I also got the bookish box edition of Between Hope and Despair. This is the second book, oh, by Jess Wisecup. This is the second book in a series and I can't remember the series name, but the first one is Between Wrath and Mercy. Um, I've heard good things about this. It features a, is it middle age? I don't remember if she's middle aged or she's in her like 30s, late 30s. Uh, main character which is interesting and I grabbed it because I struggle with this thing where I have the first one I haven't read it but the sequel comes out in the same edition and so I want to get the same edition but do I really need it I don't know do I really want it I don't know I think it's a fear of missing out maybe I should rein that in a little bit but I did get this let me know if that was a mistake <laughs> then my babies my babies finally arrived I got the bookish box edition of Brave Heart by Emma Hamm and Torn Heart by Emma Ham. This one looks so scary. I'm so scared of this. Um, but these are the stunning, stunning Bookish Box editions. I collect them. This is an amazing series about dragons and a half elf, half human. I will collect all of them. You cannot rip them out of my hands. I can't wait to finish this series. I actually have almost all of these on audiobook at this point and I'm gonna fly through them, which is both 
exciting and sad because I don't want it to end. And then I also ended up getting the new Fairy Loot Editions of the Red Rising series by Pierce Brown. So the first one is Red Rising. I love this. It makes it look way more sci-fi-y, even though I like the traditional kind of wolf head. It's very, very pretty. The end pages are amazing. And each character has the foil thing and the back. Ooh, they're just really pretty. And I like Red Rising. My husband loves Red Rising now more than I do. So we got those additions. And along with that, we have Golden Sun, of course. Look at Mustang. So cool. And Morningstar. I also really like this blue. It's really pretty. With several. Oh, Severo. Misguided little goblin. <laughs> I love him. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, that is all the books for today's haul. Trying to make these a little bit more manageable. So as I was eyeing it up the other day, I was like, okay, I probably need to go through those. I also need to go through and unhaul some books. I have a stack over there that I've basically unhauled. I just need to go through them and I need to keep doing it through my shelves because I need, I need space. I need space. Please comment down below if you're interested in my thoughts on any of these that I haven't read yet so that I can read them and then give them to you. Or just let me know any videos you would like to see in the future. But for now, that is it for today's video. Please like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you next time. Stay safe and caffeinated. <laughs> Bye.